What's up my fellow filmmakers, photographers, and friends? I've got a great one for you today. Today we're talking all about how to hack your Final Cut Pro library to get your custom audio and sound effects to show up right inside the library. Super easy, three steps. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so tell me if you've ever been here before. You've searched, you've downloaded a bunch of music and sound effects into Final Cut, you've linked them, you've used them in your project, and that's great. You might've even deleted that folder they were in and now they're offline, or you wanna use them in another project and you can't find them, you have to relink them again, you have to import them into Final Cut, yuck. I don't like that, I've been there. So I found this hack online. Uh, I found it a while ago, so I don't remember where I saw it, but if you created a video about this, thank you, it helped immensely. I'm just recreating it to pass this on. Okay, so three easy steps. The first step is to go into a folder that uh, is very easy to get to that would make sense to store your music downloads. So this would be your music or your sound effects, anything you wanna use for your films. I just put mine into my music folder in my own directory, and I just put it under my uh, Final Cut Pro downloads and uh, I've segmented it into uh, you know, art list, epidemic, and sound effects, so where I get my audio from, so that way when it shows up in Final Cut, it's a lot easier to find it. Okay, second step, you're gonna navigate to Library, Audio, Apple Loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro sound effects. I know, it's super buried, I don't know why they did that, but that's where all the audio is that Final Cut pulls um, into their library. Once you've found that folder, you're going to go back to where the new folder you created. You're going to right click and you're going to select make alias. Then you're going to drop that alias folder into the Final Cut Pro folder where it gets all its um, audio from. All that's doing is it's telling Final Cut to read that folder from where the original folder is. So you don't have to create two folders. The reason why we're doing this is so you don't have to download your music into that complicated file system that Final Cut Pro has. You only have to download it to your nice clean location that you've decided where you want it to live, whether it's on a hard drive, external hard drive, whatever. But at least that's a nice clean location that you can find all your music and your sound effects and organize them however you want to. Now that that alias is there, all you have to do is close down Final Cut, close your windows, start downloading sound effects and music to your regular folder, and when you open up Final Cut, once you have your new downloaded music, it'll always be there for all your projects to use anytime you want. You don't have to go hunting for it. You will thank me, your clients will thank me, the money you save from doing this will thank me, and that's it. So hopefully that helps. If it did help, drop a like, subscribe, you know all the good stuff. I will see you in the next one. This is with the flag, this is without the flag. Zero contrast, changing light, put the flag back. That's it, now you have contrast. This one, no contrast. Well that helps, that backlight helps, but no contrast.